I really don't know what happened during those decades of civil war in Sierra Leone and Liberia. I don't know where we lost our humanity. It's funny when my friends tell me about um, childhood movies and nursery school things and the surprises on their faces when I tell them I had never seen such a movie or sang such a rhyme. Uh, it's difficult to understand for them. I grew up seeing dead bodies and then suddenly I am in a country where people are extremely generous. I was living in an atmosphere of democracy where everyone mattered. Some of you must have heard President Obama admonish you during his recent address to the Joint Houses of Congress, never to quit. I was lucky to have a father who taught me never to quit. My father taught me that education is the only legacy that cannot be taken away from an individual. Like Nelson Mandela, I do believe that education is the greatest engine of personal development. In the era of the rebels, it used to be maybe a human score over there and another human score over there. With my man, he hit me, 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 my man, his sister, he did first, first. So, Amy, so much I know about this whole year. We've been picking the car, killing me today. Rebels and civilians, we were all victims one way or another. In Sierra Leone, a group of Nigerian soldiers has <laughs> brought back the border. I was just a child. I didn't really understand the gravity of what was happening. The rebels have regrouped, and now they're mounting a cruel guerrilla war, where it's ordinary people who are most under attack. This is where I learned to read and write. This is where I learned to love. Um, this is where I learned to work hard. Um, this is where I learned to endure a lot of difficulties just to succeed. Education was the most important thing in my father's life. I think I've given myself the audacity to take upon my father's journey. With education, we can transcend the obstacles of poverty and underdevelopment and make ourselves into what we want to be. I am trying so hard to create a better life for future generations of not only Sierra Leoneans and Liberians, but Africans. I do not want any child to go through what I went through. My name is Joseph Kaipala. Uh,